Hey guys, what is going up? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to be talking about AMC. Is this a solid investment uh, for 2021? There's been a lot of hype about this. There's been a lot of analysts saying that this stock could easily hit a thousand or even two thousand dollars per share. We're going to be breaking down and I'm going to be giving you guys my honest opinion about this company. So I hope you guys enjoy it and overall I, I hope you guys get something of value out of this video because that is the main idea with the channel and this video here. So starting off, AMC, what is it? Well, AMC is an in entertainment company. So they have uh, mostly movie theaters across the whole United States, some even across the world. And of last year during the lockdown, this company was pretty much forced to take on billions of dollars in debt to get through that hard time. And then recently, we had this company pretty much go parabolic, went from like $2 all the way up to about 26 bucks, sold off uh, down to about 6 now it's at about $10 per share. It does have a ten tendency to use this 200 moving average line as support. So you guys can see it's hit it. We did get buying pressure in that zone. Comes down again, buying pressure, buying pressure. So now this company really classified that 200 moving average line as some overall very strong support. So if you were ever gonna swing trade it, that is pretty much where I would look for an opportunity. Now, one thing that does concern me though about this company is this. So this right here is AMC's debt, okay? Let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So you you guys can see before they had, you know, in 2013, you guys can see they had, you know, quite a bit of debt, you know, around $2 billion, which is expected for companies to take on debt, to grow the business and everything like that. And then we had this, okay? We had this huge spike up in, in debt. Based, this is based on quarterly here. So this debt overall increase so when when a company takes on this um, this amount of debt it overall pretty much dilutes the company the reason why is because the, there's more money going to other things they're going to eventually have to pay this off and i know they've already started um paying that off correct now another thing is this the cash on the cash on hand is only around you know f almost half half it's about 500 million, half a billion dollars, okay? So they don't have enough cash on hand to, to cover their long-term debt, which as a long-term growth investor or even a value investor, that is a not, that's not a good sign that, you know, this company is going to continue to thrive, you know, in the next year or so. But the one thing good about AMC um, lately is, yes, across the whole United States, we've seen um some nice solid uh revenues coming out of them the reason why is because things are starting to open up again and yeah we did get this overall major sell-off in the past couple of quarters all the way down in here but i think once things start opening up again it will be just a matter of time before people start going out again but what a what a, a lot of people also have to think when you invest in AMC, you're investing in pretty much a movie theater company. Multiple, multiple streaming services are now offering the at-home theaters. Disney Plus, HBO are all offering uh, movie theaters at your home. So you just have to sign up for the subscription. You pay 30 bucks. You can watch the movie at the home and you have the luxury of pretty much owning it forever and everything like that. I think that's a phenomenal plan, but that makes... AMC a little less diluted because more people could start going uh, and watching movies at their house. It's just a little thing you guys have to consider. I think the overall best thing about this company is it's heavily talked about. So yes, I could easily see the stock hitting $20 a share in the next year, but I also could see it hitting 4 or $2 per share. So you just have to have that mindset that AMC does carry a little more volatility, but quite a bit of reward, you know, because look at these squeezes we've seen. You know, a lot of these squeezes came from the overall major short squeeze when everybody was pretty much buying up, you know, companies like AMC, GameStop, um, a variety of other Bath and Body Works, all those making them go parabolic, making those large hedge, hedge funds um, sell their positions and cover 
making that stock even go up more. So this is an overall for me, this would be right around a pretty risky investment um, just because of the volatility, just because it goes up and down at pretty rapid rates. But yeah, this one does carry quite a bit of long-term potential if you're willing to hold it you know, for you know, probably five to six years, I think you could pay the reward of having it. But also guys, I think there is quite a bit of competition coming into that space. So for me, I'm not gonna be investing in it just because of the overall long-term debt and cash on hand. Those are two very, very important things for me. For me. The reason why is because if this if this company ever slows down even more, uh, they're gonna have to somehow tap into getting more long-term debt and they're not gonna have enough cash on hand to get through a hard time. So that's overall my opinion on AMC stock. I'm staying away from it, but I know a lot of people uh, love it. Just not me. That's all, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And overall, I hope you guys got something of value out of this video. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. Take care, everyone.